All right, so verb tenses review. Right now, I want to look at a lot of examples, hopefully. So I want to start with simple present. First of all, simple present. Let's start. I eat my breakfast today. Uh, I, I eat my breakfast today? Is that simple present? I, I ate breakfast this morning and that's simple past, <laughs> right? I, so, I study English. <coughs> I study English. Like every day? <clears throat> every day. So every day, every week, usually, sometimes, never. So anything like that. So he goes to school, I study English, he goes to bed late, he wakes up early, I go to bed late, I wake up early, I... Yeah? All this is simple present. Very easy. Mm -hmm. Now, the point is, uh, the WH questions. If we, like, when, what time, hmm? who, what, when, where. When. When, when. Yeah, when we have when, <laughs> what, what time, who, what, when. Why when again? <laughs> which, which, where, how much, how many, what else? How much? How often? Very good. How many? How often? How often? Yeah, all these things. Hmm? How often what? How often do you go to school? How often do you go to school? How often do you go swimming? How often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping? Twice. So we have oh. once, a month. twice a month? a month. You go shopping only twice a month? <laughs> no. <laughs> twice a week. Twice a week. So twice a week. Great. Um, if it's more than twice, what should I say? Three times a week. Three times, right? Now, there is something called thrice. There's a word, actually, but we don't use it. But there is a word. Once, twice, thrice. <laughs> and after that, we have like four times, five times, so on and so forth. So once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and it goes on. Right? So how often? How long? You mean something with how long? How long does it take? <laughs> Very good. Very good. I like it. How long does it take? Does it take? How long does it take what? To get to the Union Station. How long does it take you to get to work? Or how long does it take for you to get to work? So how does how long does it take you to finish your, for example, homework? So how long does it take? Good. How often do you do something? When? What time? Where? Where do you live? What do you do? Who do you talk to? Who do you go home with? Who do you have lunch with, usually? Hmm? Who do you spend your weekends with? Who do you spend your weekends with? Mm -hmm. The best answer is, none of your business. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? This we have no problems with, right? So we present. Present continues, no problem. What are you doing? What is he doing? What does she do? No problem. Do we have any problem with that? No. No. But present continues. It was like, what are you doing tonight? No problem, right? Immensely easy, right? <laughs> so far, so good. You've heard so far, so good. Oh, no. <laughs> Asaka, what are you doing tonight? I will go shopping. Okay. I will go shopping? You've, you've had a plan, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Or I'll be shopping. I'll be shopping. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? No, you should answer nothing special. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, uh, my class finishes at 9 p.m. <laughs> I'm free for dinner. So. That's the way conversation goes on, right? <laughs> and then we can, do you know a good Japanese restaurant? <laughs> Maybe. 
You want to tell? Would be good. Yeah. Do you want to try? <laughs> Seriously? Okay. So that's easy. The other one, present perfect. Very easy. You ask me. Present perfect. Perfect. Examples. Ask me. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Yeah. Yes. Ten times. <laughs> no, I've never been there. What was the name? The place? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Yeah. Sorry, somehow I felt like you were asking about some Japanese sad town. <laughs> so, Niagara Falls, right? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Have you ever been to the Niagara Falls? Yes. Yes. I've been there. But She's never been there. You've never been there? I, I went there five years ago. <laughs> five years ago? Yes. Okay, it's good to go there again, but not like this weather, but hopefully summer. Summertime, it's a lot better. So Niagara Falls. Have you ever been to the Niagara Falls? Well, I've been there. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, good. Can you ask me some present perfect question? Have you ever seen this movie? Which movie? Um, <laughs> Road of Learning. Uh, Road of Learning. Road of the Rings. Oh, uh, Lord of the Rings. Yes. Yes, I have watched Lord of the Rings. So, have you ever been to Mexico? Have you ever been to Cancun? Have you ever been to Whitetown? Yes. Yes? How many times? Once. Only once. <laughs> Have you ever been to Whitetown? Twice or three times. Twice or three times. Great. All right. How long have you lived here in Toronto? I lived here for four months. I have. So you can say, I've been living here. You I've say, been living here. Yeah. How long have you been living here? So I've been living here. So I've lived here for four months. Have you ever lived in Spain? No? Okay. Easy, right? So present perfect continuous. Hmm? Today, how long have we been studying English today together? About five hours. So we've... We've studied... We've been, we've been studying... So we've been studying English. We've been studying English. We've been studying English for five hours today. Today. So we've been studying English for five hours today, right? We've been studying English for five hours today. Easy again. Yeah. Okay. Very easy. So what did you yes do yesterday? After you left school. None of your business. So, anyways. The parts that you can talk about. After you left school yesterday, what is it you did? Did you I, go straight home? I worked. Aha, uh -huh, I, I went to work. I worked. How, how long did you work yesterday? Uh, I worked for seven hours. She worked seven hours yesterday. So, oh my god. What time did you get back home? Uh, around eight. Oh, 11.30. What were you doing at 6.30 p.m. yesterday, Shark? I was in my workplace. Yeah, what were you doing in your workplace at uh, 6.30? I was making burritos. <laughs> making burritos, like, that's when I called you. And you didn't answer. So, she was, yeah. She was making burritos when I called her, and so she didn't answer. Too bad. Okay. So, um, burritos, amazing. <laughs> will you ever make burritos at home for yourself? No. So I said, will you ever? I'm not like, um, are you going to? Because I'm asking a question, I don't know, it's not a plan, right? Will you? Uh, okay. So this is simple too, right? I was watching TV when the phone rang, right? How about two things same time in the past? I was watching TV. Mm? Asako? When? Uh, eating dinner. I was watching TV while, while Asako was eating dinner. Great. So while when? Easy, right? 
So far, so good. Now, last night, I went to Chipotle, and I had uh, room, I ordered burrito. It was amazing. I mm, never mm, eat burrito, such delicious burrito all my life. I, I had never, never eaten. I had never eaten such yummy burrito, such delicious burrito all my life. So last night I went to Chipotle and I saw Mako <laughs> and I ordered burrito. And I think Mako did something very special for me <laughs> because I had never eaten such yummy burrito all my life. All my life. Right? Yeah. So last night I went to uh, Chipotle at around 7 p.m. I saw Mako. I said, Mako, shall we go out? She's like, no, I can't. I, my shift ends at 11. And I'm like, uh, how long have you been working here? She has like uh, been working for six, uh, four hours, or three hours, three hours. Now, last night I saw Mako at Chipotle. She said that she mm, work in three hours. She, she said has been. Last night she said she she had been been working. For three hours. So just last night I saw Mako at Chipotle she at seven at seven p.m. She said she was tired because she had been working for three hours, and that she had to go on working for another four hours for a seven-hour shift. Okay, makes sense, right? Yeah. Hmm. Um, I was doing the dishes when. John called me last night, he said, let's go out, uh, and he said, like, I had been washing dishes for two hours when he called, but there were a lot more dishes left, so I told him I can't, I actually I told him I couldn't go with him, because I had two more hours of dishwashing to do. Um, passed. Easily finished. Future. What are you going to do on Thursday? So Thursday is off, right? It's the first of January and it's a holiday here in Canada. So what are you going to do on Thursday? I'm going to cook some Japanese food. Amazing. Am I invited? <laughs> no? That's bad. So I'm cooking some Japanese food, amazing. And there are 20 people in that house, be careful. <laughs> yeah, where do you live? So what are you going to do on Thursday? Well, what are your plans, right? Um, I'm going to Javi's place. They're coming back from New York. Uh, do you think you'll go with us? Will you go with us? Let's go, Marco. We're not invited, but let's go. <laughs> let's crash their party. Yeah. We'll be party crashers. Hello! You didn't invite us, but we decided to come. <laughs> so, yeah, will to be going to very easy. What will you be doing tomorrow at uh, nine, at ten p. A., ten a.m. tomorrow? Hopefully, you'll be. I will be doing my homework. Yeah, you'll be you'll be you'll be studying English right here in town with me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, next year this time, I'll be snowboarding in Whistler, remember? Next week this time, I'll be having fun in, in a bar in downtown Toronto. Maybe? No. I'll be teaching English. <laughs> <coughs> now, by 6 p.m. this afternoon, can I say I have finished my homework? I will have finished. Will have finished. Will have finished. It's future. Will have done something. Will have done something. So by then, before sometime in the future, I will have done something. I will have finished my homework. Uh, I've been working on this project for two months. 
but next month it will finish. So by next month, I will have uh, finished the project, but how long will I have been working on it? I will have been working on it for three months. Now, this tense is difficult. Most native people don't even use this tense, but I will have been working on this project. So this is the only immensely difficult tense. That's a little complicated. The rest are easy. It's just we need to do it in practice. Right? Now, I need a few minutes of your time to look at a different kind of tense, like would have, could have, should have, may have, right? Just a second. 